Now, with air conditioners blasting this summer, electricity bills are soaring. That's a big worry for a lot of people. Prime Minister Ina Gunn has called on the government to try and find ways to bring those bills down. He's also reminding people to take health precautions. This heat is dangerous, and he wants local governments to help vulnerable people like senior citizens. Cha Sang Mi reports. The South Korean government is continuing its efforts to respond to the extreme heat wave, which is forecast to continue till the end of August. With the air conditioning on, the heats caused electricity bills to soar. And in Tuesday's cabinet meeting, Prime Minister Lee Nagyeon called on the energy ministry to find ways to ease people's concerns on that front. The longer the heat wave continues, the longer we spend with the air conditioning on, which leads to worryingly high electricity bills. This heat wave qualifies as a natural disaster. So I urge the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy to look into ways to show some consideration to the people when it comes to the cost of electricity. Prime Minister Yi also asked the ministry to make sure to stabilize electricity supplies this week when power demand will most likely surge at the end of vacation season. He said despite multiple measures the government has been taking, the heat has claimed 27 lives, and both farmers and consumers are suffering from the loss of livestock and crops. The government is working on changing the law so that the heat wave is regarded as a natural disaster, but we ought to respond to the heat wave even before the law is passed. He urged people to take extra care of themselves in the heat, especially senior citizens who don't have air conditioning. Also, farmers, fishermen, and builders who work outside in the heat. Local governments, he said, should help. On Tuesday, the prime minister himself paid a visit to a family on a livestock farm in Gyeonggi-do Province to console them and to check on the situation on the ground. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.